my hero. Welcome back from the weekend. Well, sunny and childlike today for the Rams, but there's a real potential for temper tantrums. It can go either way. That's because we have a full moon in Leo, and not just a full moon, but the first lunar eclipse of the year. Now, lunar eclipses are quite powerful. In fact, technically, most astrologers would say they can begin to affect you up to three days before or three days after the eclipse. And what the eclipse really is, is a full moon, which, as you probably know from watching Soul Garden, is a tug-of-war on the Earth. Only, because it's an eclipse, the tug-of-war is almost perfect with precision. Somewhere on the planet in the next 24 hours, the moon will be shadowed by the Earth. As you probably know, watch the astro weather. What it means, metaphorically, is the universe is going to pull us way far one direction to encourage us to grow in the opposite direction. For Aries, that pull is with your inner child. There's likely to be a bit of a temper tantrum or some sort of inner child controversy where you feel like you can't express yourself the way you want to or you maybe panic that your dreams aren't on path or maybe you panic that your romance is taking you the wrong direction or it may look like a creative project is falling apart and usually it is a falling apart so to speak of these things but reality is we need to focus where the sun is which is across the heavens in Aquarius asking uh, Aries is this month to really grow up and change their perspective on how they see themselves in the world. So your inner child is going to be glowing like a Christmas tree or any other religious symbol that you want to use. That's just the first one that comes to mind. And so your inner child is going to want what it wants, but the real spiritual work will be, in fact, changing your perspective on how you see yourself in society. So, for instance, if a creative project fell apart and that's what's really the issue or you really want to get one going, look at how you can put it in the world in a different way or position yourself in a different way for the solution. All right, hero, that's all I got for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So TV. Hello, Christopher here, your friendly neighborhood astrologer. I want to invite you to take part in a new social networking site we've launched called the Soul Garden Collective. And it's a really groovy place. You can set up a profile, you can blog, you have better access to me. So if you want to ask questions, lots of people, lots of signs, all exchanging information, uploading videos, uploading photos. It's a cool place. So come on down and join us at the Soul Garden Collective. TV.